Now, in the previous video, I talked about uh, what's happening and what's wrong with the Nigeria economy in 2024, uh, particularly what have happened between um, late December 2023 to late February 2024. All right, now, in this episode, we'll be looking at um, the hyperinflation we had um, between January to, this, uh, to February and how this will um, immensely affect the Nigerian real estate markets, Nigerian real estate sector, and Nigerian real estate developers. Now, in case you are coming across a video like this for the first time, this meet the property guy property channel, and this will discuss everything real estate from hot topics, um, trending real estate matters, um, land scams, land fraud, land titles, land documents, return on investment, risk analysis, risk assessment, shortlet, land banking, buy and flip, buy and build, regardless, anything, anything regarding property matters, regarding real estate matters, we dissect everything here. So this is your go-to channel if you have been investing, you are about to start investing, you have not invested at all, just want to understand the market, we got you covered here. So um, after watching this particular episode, I will also um, suggest um, you go to our playlist, we have a playlist on CFO, land documents, QA session, trivia session, um, shortlets, Bejuleki, and so on and so forth. You are definitely, definitely going to learn a lot because we have so much episodes, so much topics that we have done under each of these playlists. All right, so let's let's look at the impact and um, the effect of the hyperinflation we had in the past two months um, and how it's going to affect the Nigerian real estate markets and Nigerian real estate developers. As usual, before we start talking about uh, the impact of the hyperinflation, uh, this is us once again, you know, um, marketing you to subscribe to uh, our channel. Uh, you know, um, we have fantastic topics like these, more fantastic topics coming up. And uh, we want you to be a member, we want you to be um, a patron in our channel, we want you to be active on this channel. And one of, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to subscribe. And once again, if our subscriber list goes up, our viewership goes up, and the contents, um, the guides, the tips that we share on this channel also get to reach a larger audience. So um, one of the ways that you can support what we do is also for you to subscribe to our channel. So if you are subscribed already, we also want you to turn on the notification button so that as you are dropping this video, you get notified. You are always going to be sharing that instruction and how you can do that on the screen. All right, so now the first um, major impact of the hyperinflation is on off-plan development. I've done series of videos on off-plan. I think I should have even have an off-plan playlist because I've really talked about off-plan, um, when you should buy, why you should buy off-plan, don't buy off-plan, buy off-plan, don't invest in off-plan, invest in off-plan, and so on and so forth, the risk on off-plan, how to manage the risk of on off-plan, and so on. So um, right now, based on the hyperinflation we had from December ending down to February ending, off-plan developments, 80% of off-plan developments, they are roasted. Like, a lot of developers have realized that the prices they sold some of this project last year, there is no way in the holy hell they can deliver that project at that price again. And some clients have paid outright. Some clients have paid within three months. Some clients have paid within six months. And developers being developers that have moved this fund to another project. Now, for them to now go back to the project they collected the fund for, hyperinflation have happened. Cement have gone to so-so rates. Iron wood has gone to so-so rates. And now they are in trouble. So off-plan right now is roasted, particularly people that sold off-plan last year and they have set this year for delivery. So a couple of developers have been smart or they, they were smarter and they have accumulated a lot of things they need to buy. They have bought it way ahead. And some of them were even smarter, like very smart last year. They were able to get financing for their off-plan project. So they were not really waiting for of takers they were not really waiting for subscribers to pay but they have already got financing to deliver the project to maybe 60 percent 70 percent or some of them to even 100 percent so those ones the impact of the hyperinflation did not affect them too much but for a lot of people that have that are sold out on the, on a particular project last year and they have not delivered it maybe they were like 30 percent or 40 percent at delivery last year 
going to this year, they are seriously, seriously, seriously roasted. So, uh, if you bought any of plan last year, um, I won't say you should be worried yet, but um, trust me, I will say you should be expecting some um, letters or some memos from your developer very soon. That if you have not even received one already. All right. Now, secondly, development level review. Now, two has already started happening since January, and um, a lot of companies have jacked up their development level times three, two hundred percent, three hundred percent for some. Some have increased their development level from one point five million to three million. Some to four million. Some have increase that development level from 500k to 1 million you know so a lot of them are like going up hard on development level particularly for people that have finished payment on land and have left that development level pending and i did a video two years ago talking about how important it is for you to take note of statutory fees when you are buying a land because you just look at the fees or the cost of the land at 700k you always also pay attention to what they are charging for development level what they are charging for survey, what they are charging for deed. And a common mistake by a lot of, develop, uh, a lot of investors is they pay deposits, you know, 500k deposit here, 1 million deposit there, 1.5 million deposit here, 2 million deposit here. So they spread out their deposits. So now they have not continued paying for the land. They have not even touched the development levy or the statutory fees at all. And the these are the kind of people the, the companies are really, really coming for because they want to use that development level to discourage you so that you are, you are going to apply for a refund that can remove 40 percent from your money and just give you and they are free so development level review if they're not if they, you have any property right now they have not emailed you that they are changing that development level please just go and pay that development level no 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 don't even don't even delay on it it's very very important you always always pay attention to this development level one of the reasons why i've slowed down on buying any land this year is that I intend to clear the statutory fees of most of my land that I bought last year before I even start buying other lands again. So it's very, very important you clear payment for your land and always clear your statutory fees. If you can't clear it once, be paying it small, small, 200k, 300k, just be dropping it there. At least they know that you are actively paying something there. I just leave the, uh, the uh, statutory fees like that. Before you know it, it will be times three or times four. All right, now the third. Um, impact of um the hyper inflation is right now house rents particularly for new building is up by 40 percent so houses that were like 1 million naira before is like 1.4 million naira right now to rent it houses that were like 1.2 million naira before is now like around 1.7 million naira right now for new buildings so old buildings are still slacking behind and anything from august september you know the people that built their house last year last two years last three years they also start starts um serving their tenants notice that oh sorry oh uh, based on the economy we have to increase the house rent to so so rates but we're expecting between 30 to 40 percent increase on house rent so definitely this is going to be making some people smile and it's going to be making some people cry you know landlords will be smiling because their investment is now up the cash flow that they can collect is now up while tenants will be complaining because right now um, source of income is the same, is almost the same or stagnant, and house rent has gone up by 40%, which is like a higher cost of living this time around. So, anything that is worth complaining about, eh, anything that is going to make you complain, you need to ask yourself, will I continue complaining about this thing, or will I find a way where this thing is going to be to my benefit? Because we are in a capitalist country, Everything is all about money. So whatever that is going up and making some people poorer is going up and making some people richer. So you want to turn the table and make sure that if any changes is happening to the economy is making you richer and not making you poorer. All right, now, so the first impact of um, what is happening right now is that house prices might double by August for new houses. Um, some house prices have already gone up already um but even bungalows surprisingly um price of some bungalows have gone from 25 million to 35 million from some bungalows have gone from 45 million to like 58 million 59 million some bungalows have gone up from 35 million to like around um, 49 million already now if bungalows are going up this rate 
now imagine duplexes duplexes where they are going to do casting and casting right now they're going to consume iron consume granite and the cost of these things have skyrocketed so duplexes also are follow suit and terrace buildings before they were like 65 million 60 million for terrace building around orchid ikota right now terraces are like 80 million and um semi detached duplexes before they were like 85 million 80 million semi detached duplexes are like now currently like 100 million and some of these houses were even houses that were built in december so these are even houses that were built as cement at five three five two so the houses of cement at eleven thousand ten thousand 10585 those ones will be coming to the market by August by September by October and that's why you can note this down house prices will likely 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 double in August so if there's any house you are looking to buy if there's any deal you are looking to close <laughs> delay is dangerous so each minute each seconds each day that you are delaying on that deal you are paying higher I can guarantee you that. All right, now the fifth impact of um, the hyperinflation is uh, the slow pace of delivery and infrastructure. So the slow pace of the delivery and infrastructure, a lot of different projects, different projects and different estates uh, that they have given out different timelines for different infrastructural milestones that will likely get delayed right now because they have collected the development levy last year and now cement have gone up. 3,000 Naira extra. Um, iron Road has gone up 700,000 Naira extra, 600,000 Naira extra. Granite have gone up, diesel have gone up, and these have also um, affected their BOQ and their initial estimates. So there will be a slow pace in um, delivery, there will be a slow pace in infrastructure. If there is any project that you bought, you bought last year um, and you are expecting delivery this year, um, don't start buying bed share yet to <laughs> trust me the delivery will get slower and some companies might even start telling you stories and the ones that are reputable that may not tell you story they are going to take a while before, before they're going to deliver it based on all this upper inflation that is happening and despite that despite um all these red um red flags that we are looking at some companies are actually doing well you know some people are some companies are even right now working more at sites because they have been able to plan better and prepare better uh, and some people, companies are even delivering their projects even earlier than expected because they they got the financing and they, not, they are not waiting for subscribers to pay whatever monthly or whatever um, within three months that they were expecting so it's not really all doom and gloom um there are also still a, a, a couple of positives and I know a couple of you guys are already like um uh, rabbi, uh, people are not going to buy you know uh based on the economy uh minimum wage uh this one blah blah trust me people are actually buying even people are investing more uh particularly between january to february people invested more january people ho people hold on in january because of the exchange rate was like changing every day so people were like oh do let me do anything but by the third week of february and um, the exchange rate started stabilizing and coming down. People were forced to now start remitting more money to Nigeria because they are looking at it that ah, it's like I can still do more uh, with this my one euro, with this my one pounds, with this my one dollar. So people were pushing that money more into Nigeria um, from the third week of February. So people are like buying more right now because they want to use real estate to hold on to the advantage of the fact that they will still buy more before the currency um, like. Um, they never gain more or the their current currency like um depreciate further and whatever the nega and dollar exchange rate that happened in january february is not the end trust me it's not the end the is a is a season film so that there will still be so many episodes of that season film eh? so um we are seeing to have another season or another episode where another round of um skyrockets and back and forth exchange rates will happen again so because um we have not really solved whatever that is happening or, or whatever that is influencing those exchange rates we have not even sorted it fully yet so but uh people are still buying i can guarantee you that 100 percent this this is this is a market that i know 100 percent i can look at my sales january february march and trust me 
people are pretty, pretty, pretty investing more. So um, slow pace of delivery and infrastructure is just one of the effects um, and one of the um, ways that the hyperinflation we had down from December ending to like February has also impacted the Nigerian real estate market, the Nigerian real estate sector, and uh, Nigerian real estate developers. Developers are really, really, really sweating hard right now. Eh? Like they are sweating uh, badly. Even a couple of um, developers that are developing in Nigeria in dollars or in pounds, are beginning pounds to de develop in Nigeria, are even sweating very, very hard. It's, 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 it's pretty crazy. It's very hard to do any estimate right now. All right, so um, if you agree with uh, some of the things I mentioned here, off plan is roasted, development levy review, house rent is up by 40%. If you buy any house last year or last two years, trust me, um, the time that you are going to be cashing out is very, very close, particularly on house. That's why I was telling you invest in long lease, invest in long lease. Rental appreciation we, is there. You are going to enjoy the rental appreciation. They are collecting one million right now. Something will happen within three years. It goes to 1.5 million or 1.4 million. So house rent is up by 40% right now. Um, house prices might double by August, by August this year, 2024. And the slow pace of delivery and infrastructure is just one of the effects of um, um, the hyperinflation that is, we experienced um, between December 2023 and um, February 2024. So if you have questions about um, the different points that we shared, uh, our comment is always open and we are willing um, to hear your view. You can, can just tell us, you can tell us what you think, you can tell us uh, maybe there is any other impacts that I didn't mention. You can also um, tell us about that in the comment section. Um, we'll be willing to listen to you and share opinions share opinions with you. So I still remain your number one property on the planet, your property advisor, property consultant, Rabbi Mustafa. Don't forget, if you enjoy this, our content, uh, give us a thumb like, give us a thumb like, share this content also, share it with your peeps in your groups, um, your broadcasts, your pages, you know, let more people also come to enjoy what we do here. Um, I'm definitely going to appreciate that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.